Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Julian Talbot. I'm your host for this presentation. Thank you very much for coming along to the first of our monthly webinar series. We lightheartedly call it How to Bribe a Policeman with a Can of Beer and a Bag of Cashews. Subtitle really is Risk Management in Africa, and I think it applies broadly to risk management in a host of uh, developing nations. Hopefully you'll find it interesting and useful. In, in one of my roles, I'm a director with the Security Analysis and Risk Management Association. It's uh, a group which started originally in Washington, but has a, an international interest and in chapters in Australia and uh, growing around the world. It, SAMA is about looking at security analysis in the broader sense. It started from the homeland security area and, and a group of professionals got together and said we need an association which is helping us improve the quality of risk management and it's broadened out to helping I guess national security issues, societal risk management, resilience and how we use our resources better for this sort of area. Uh, that's about enough for SAMA. You can find us at SAMA.org and I'd encourage each of you to have a think about it. If you're interested in risk analysis and improving societal decision making I'd encourage you to have a look and think about joining. And my other role, I'm also the CEO of JBS, Jakeman Business Solutions, in based in Canberra, Australia. We have offices around Australia and essentially we have a range of services including risk management consulting, strategic security consulting, project management, we have uh, a large managed services uh, division that look after records management among other things. We've had about 50 staff working in various client organisations and in consultancies including projects like the NBN, Department of Defence. We uh, run it's probably the largest implementation of a records management system in the Southern Hemisphere. So uh, all in all we're a fairly diverse and interesting group. Re just to talk very quickly about me, how I came to be CEO of JBS and of Director of SAMA. I've had a, a more roles and jobs in my time than I care to mention but most recently until returning to JBS I was working in Africa as a uh, logistics manager for a remote exploration camp and uh, the couple of years there taught me a lot of things and I thought they were worth sharing just for general management and risk management point of view. It, if nothing else I think you'll get a laugh but you'll hopefully find a few stories there. Um, prior to that I was the manager of security for the North West Shelf Project, the manager of property and security for the Australian Trade Commission, sort of working across 60 countries there. I've uh, worked in a number of jobs, worked now on four continents uh, in resources sector, government, private sector. But uh, that's a very quick pricey of me. Let me get straight into the presentation. Now, like any good risk manager, I'm going to start with the context and talk about where we were from big picture. Uh, Africa, it's tempting to think of Africa as a single concept really it's a maze of about 50 countries and hundreds of tribes and cultures and a real mix. We were down in the east on the right there in a place called Tanzania. Now Tanzania is part of the uh, East African Congress and it's probably the largest country there and one of the most stable as well. Uh, parts of it are spectacularly beautiful, parts of it are uh, fairly depleted thanks to um, subsistence farming really. The area we were was in the far west, it was about five days drive to, literally five days, four wheel drive to get through to a uh, the camp we're at, which is on the, about 20 kilometres from the coast of Lake Tanganyika. When you actually get in there to uh, Mubango camp, that's about what we have. You can see the built up area where the blue marker is, is the camp through the trees and there's really not much to see. Literally the nearest village is about 14 kilometres away and apart from our airstrip there's nothing you can really see from the air. That being said, a fascinating part of the world. 